Have you ever wondered why two countries with so much in common, including a shared language and membership in the Commonwealth never joined forces? Jamaica and Canada share many similarities, yet, Jamaica has never been part of Canada irrespective of their similarities and this raises an interesting question, why didn't Jamaica join Canada? Jamaica's history as a British colony plays a crucial role in understanding why it did not join Canada. The country gained its independence from the United Kingdom in 1962, but its relationship with Canada stretches back much further. During World War II, thousands of Jamaicans migrated to Canada to work in industries such as agriculture and manufacturing. Since then, the two countries have maintained diplomatic relations, but Jamaica has remained an independent nation. By examining the history of both countries, we can gain insights into the reasons behind this decision. Aside their historical, economic and cultural factors, political considerations also played a role in Jamaica's decision not to join Canada. Throughout this video, we will explore these factors in more detail to gain a better understanding of why Jamaica did not become part of Canada. To ensure that you don't miss out on more great content like this, please take a moment to like and subscribe to Discovering Hub. Also, click on the notification bell. Without much delay, let's dive into the video. Jamaica's colonization by the British in the 17th century was the start of a long history that would shape the country's relationship with Canada. The British used Jamaica as a base for exporting goods to Europe, including sugar and rum, and relied heavily on the labor of enslaved Africans to work the land. The island's strategic location in the Caribbean made it an important military outpost, and it was used as a base during several conflicts, including the Seven Years' War and the Napoleonic Wars. This colonial history had a profound impact on Jamaica's economy, politics, and society. Canada's colonization, on the other hand, followed a different trajectory. The French and British both claimed territory in what is now Canada, and the two powers fought for control throughout the 17th and 18th centuries. After the British emerged victorious in the Seven Years' War, they gained control of much of present-day Canada. Unlike Jamaica, Canada was not primarily used as a source of raw materials for export to Europe, but rather as a site of settlement for European immigrants. This led to the development of a distinct cultural identity that was different from that of Jamaica. Jamaica's independence in 1962 was a pivotal moment in its history, and it played a key role in shaping the country's relationship with Canada. After centuries of colonial rule, Jamaica's people and leaders were eager to assert their own identity and take control of their own affairs. This desire for self-determination was reflected in the development of the Jamaican nationalist movement, which gained momentum in the years leading up to independence. The nationalist movement was led by figures such as Norman Manley and Alexander Bustamante, who advocated for greater autonomy and sovereignty for Jamaica. Manley and Bustamante were instrumental in negotiating Jamaica's transition to independence with the British government, and they played a key role in shaping the country's political and economic future. This decision to be independent was driven by a variety of factors, including a desire for greater self-determination, cultural differences between Jamaica and Canada, and economic considerations. By examining the history of Jamaica's independence and its impact on the country's relationship with Canada, we can gain a deeper understanding of the reasons behind Jamaica's decision to remain independent. While Jamaica ultimately chose not to join Canada, the relationship between the two countries has been an important one throughout history. Canada played a key role in Jamaica's transition to independence, providing support and assistance as the country navigated the challenges of building a new nation. This support included financial aid, technical assistance, and training programs for Jamaican officials and professionals. The shared heritage between these two countries has helped to foster strong bonds between the two nations, and it has led to the development of close diplomatic and economic ties. Today, Jamaica and Canada continue to maintain a strong relationship, characterized by cooperation and collaboration on a wide range of issues. The two countries work together on issues such as trade, security, and development, and they have a long history of cultural exchange and collaboration. While Jamaica may have chosen not to join Canada, the relationship between these two nations remains an important and enduring one, marked by mutual respect, cooperation, and friendship. Economic considerations played a significant role in Jamaica's decision not to join Canada. 
At the time of Jamaica's independence in 1962, the country's economy was heavily dependent on agriculture, particularly the production of sugar. While the Canadian economy was more diverse, with a strong manufacturing sector, there were concerns that Jamaica would not be able to compete in this area if it joined Canada. This was a major factor in the decision to remain independent, as Jamaica's leaders believed that the country would have more control over its economic destiny if it remained independent. There were concerns that joining Canada would lead to the loss of Jamaicans' jobs and businesses, as Canadian companies would likely take over many of the country's industries. This fear was particularly acute in the agricultural sector, where Jamaican farmers were worried about being squeezed out by larger Canadian companies. By remaining independent, Jamaica was able to maintain control over its own economy, and to develop policies that were tailored to its specific needs and challenges. Many Jamaicans also felt that becoming part of Canada would mean giving up a significant amount of control over their own affairs, and that this would be unacceptable. By remaining independent, Jamaica was able to maintain its own unique identity and culture, and to pursue its own path to economic and social development. While the relationship between Jamaica and Canada has evolved over time, these concerns about economic sovereignty and independence continue to be important factors in shaping the relationship between these two nations. In relation to cultural factors, at the time of Jamaica's independence in 1962, the country had a strong sense of cultural identity, shaped by its history of slavery, colonialism, and resistance. This identity was expressed through Jamaica's music, literature, and art, as well as through its political and social movements. The idea of relinquishing a substantial degree of control over their cultural matters to Canada was deemed unacceptable by numerous Jamaicans. There were also concerns about the impact of joining Canada on Jamaica's language and educational systems. At the time of Jamaica's independence, the country was in the process of developing its own national language, Jamaican Patois, which had grown out of the African languages brought to the island by enslaved peoples. There were concerns that joining Canada would mean giving up this language, and that this would be a significant loss for Jamaican culture. There were concerns about political and social movements. The country was home to a variety of political and social movements, including the Rastafarian movement at the time of Jamaica's independence, which had emerged as a response to the legacy of slavery and colonialism. Jamaica's decision to maintain its independence allowed the country to retain its distinct political and social movements, and enabled it to advance its distinct strategies for promoting social justice and equality. When Jamaica gained independence in 1962, the country was in the midst of establishing its own democratic government. Jamaicans believed it was important for their nation to maintain control over its political destiny. By remaining independent, Jamaica could construct its own policies tailored to their unique needs and challenges. This allowed the country to build a stronger sense of national identity and pride and move forward in its way. Jamaica would be severing ties with the Caribbean and other countries worldwide by joining Canada. The country was a member of the West Indies Federation then, a political union comprising several Caribbean countries. However, the union collapsed in 1962. If Jamaica had joined Canada, it would have abandoned its relationship with other Caribbean nations, potentially damaging its global reputation. One significant factor that influenced Jamaica's decision was the potential impact on the country's ability to address the legacy of colonialism and slavery. Staying independent allowed Jamaica to create its policies and initiatives to deal with its colonial past, leading to a sense of empowerment and national pride. The country could pursue its own unique approach to social justice and equality, forging its path forward. Jamaica's decision not to join Canada is a testament to the strength and resilience of its people. They have been able to build a proud, strong, independent and vibrant nation that continues to inspire others today. While the idea of joining Canada may have been appealing, Jamaicans recognized that their identity and sovereignty were essential to their success and chose to pursue their path forward. What do you think of our video? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, tell your friends about it and hit the like button. Also, share with friends on Facebook, WhatsApp, and Twitter.